On this week's Monday Marketing Nugget, we are going to cover what's going on in the event world, how to provide your clients an unforgettable experience, some additional real-time marketing tactics. This is going to be a good one, so stand by. For my guest today, I have the CEO of one of Inc.'s fastest growing U.S. companies, experiential marketing specialist, and my great friend, CEO of Creative State, Greg Zalkin. We welcome you, Greg. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah, it's awesome to have you. Greg and I go way back, probably about 20, 25 years now. Got our start in the uh, wonderful nightclub business in Ybor City. Greg owned a nightclub. Uh, I was doing marketing and promotions at the time, and Greg had an awesome uh, little venue in Ybor, and uh, we grew our businesses, and now we're here and uh, running successful marketing companies. So, Greg, today I want to cover some things about um, your clients, what they're going through. I know you do a lot of event marketing a lot of experiential marketing. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the struggles that some of your clients have had and maybe how you've helped them get through it and some of the companies that are still persevering. Yeah, thanks. Um, and as everyone knows, it's troubling times, right? Um, we do a lot of hand-to-hand -hand event marketing tactics, guerrilla field marketing, and you just can't do that anymore. So you have to pivot, you have to change. Um, the scary thing as everyone experienced when the pandem pandemic happened, you know, all the clients stopped spending. The great thing that we've seen come the beginning of July, people are coming back to the table. They need to get their products in consumers' hands. They need to have another outlet besides digital. So it's, it's really an exciting time for us. That's awesome. And um, some of the companies that you're seeing that have succeeded, I know a lot of people get scared and they kind of curl up and hide and <laughs> go into hibernation. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the companies that you are seeing succeed right now. Yeah, it's a good point. You know, um, we've known each other a long time. I've had a number of businesses and all of these downturns, we've doubled down. We have right. have created new opportunities and gone in harder, knowing that with downturns, opportunities come. And we kind of advise a lot of our clients with that. You know, you don't have to break the bank in these uh, different scenarios, but there's other ways to reach people with different dollars can't just disappear. Um, they statistics show when people pull back that much, they can never get regain. So what we've actually worked with a number of clients with is going back into the retail space, getting out into the community in a different manner, still engaging and interacting and educating, but you've got to just change it up a little bit. You always have to stay fresh. Uh, the thing I yeah. love about my industry is there's so much opportunity. Um, a lot of people copy and paste. You always have to be fresh and change and, you know, come up with those new ideas. Yeah, I see that a lot. I think I've mentioned that in past episodes that the the venues that have continued their success are the ones that are always evolving. And that's the same with any business. If you stay static and you keep the normal things going, you're not going to evolve. And um, I, too, with our company, it's almost motivated us to do more and spend more because a lot of other competitions not. So we're able to catapult ourselves ahead of everyone just because they're sheltered and they're scared and they're not, you know, knowing what's going to happen. So taking that step to do the extra little bit and do what people are not, I, th I think is really crucial right now. Yeah. I mean, for example, we have an RTD, a ready to drink cocktail brand that we work with. So it's a can okay. pre-made cocktail. And they said, hey, we don't want to be left you know, on, on the wayside, you know, during this time. We want to go hard. So they actually came to us and say, can we get back into the retail environment? How do we get back into the retail environment? How do we engage with consumers? So we developed a very simple but effective plan to change what that retail product demonstrator experience is. And it's been amazing. We're working with Fresh Market, Whole Foods with this brand and sales have been through the roof because they realize they don't need a huge display. They need a better experience um, with COVID and um, really kind of connecting with the consumer on a, on a, on a more basic level. Um, but it's been hugely successful in expanding to multiple states now. Right. And you also have something going on in um, New Jersey on the shore as well. Is that correct? Yeah, we we're working with a beer brand. We work with a lot of um, consumer products um, from alcohol uh, to food and beverage packaged goods. So this is a beer brand that we worked with for many years, a big national brand. Um, and they have an alcohol-free product um, that they are promoting through the boardwalks of um, the Northeast. So people coming, <coughs> excuse me, 
coming and going from the beach. Um, again, not a huge display. Not you know we've done we work with Patron for example. We do U.S. tours with huge right. activation spaces, fifty by fifty on semis. Uh, this experience now is just really hand to hand, um, very protected, of course. Uh, hand sanitizer as a mask and the, the normal PPE stuff, but it's more on a personal level. And I think consumers are really responding to that because they haven't, they've been in the house, they haven't had much going on. And if you don't try to, you know, have this gamification system or this, these, these, these sticks and just kind of reach them on a basic level, it's been very effective. Right. And uh, I mean, we've been through the ups and downs being in business as long as we both have to see the recession in 2008, 2009, now this. Uh, I mean, just learning from the experiences, working and having our own businesses and then working with hundreds of other companies that we've worked with, we're getting to see what they're doing and how they pivot and how you know we can all succeed through this type of time. So um, now you also have, of course, you never have one thing going on. You have multiple things going on at all times. You've got uh, three great boys. You've got two dogs to deal with. Um, so you're, on top of all that, you have another business called Find Them, uh, which is a, a Facebook group originally, right? So um, tell us a little bit about that and how you're helping people connect. Yeah, um, I have a partner with that, Jamie Oristano, a really good friend, again, you've known him for many years. Um, and we just started this idea of just why can't people refer each other business? Very simple, organic, no money um, to be made in it, just kind of helping the industry grow. And that kind of has um, escalated and we have almost uh, 8,000 users in our Facebook group. So we, during this, during this time, we've pivoted and done an actual website and starting to monetize that while still really helping the industry you know we're really altruistic and 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 there's no ego there's really in anything i do and everything i've succeeded in it's about the people and it's about the passion and it's about um, working together and doing something great so that's how find them came about um and it's been very successful we've had tons of people find opportunities and jobs and and, um, and business from it so we're now taking that in the next next step Right. And of course, right. Of course, as business owners, we we love making money. We're not, we're not going to deny that. But I think the passion drives you to enjoy life, waking up in the morning, doing things that are not only helping your clients out, but now you're also connecting people, which today is is just super important because people are suffering. They don't know what they can do. Um, so I would just recommend if anyone out there is is watching that's looking for some opportunities or looking for connections. Check out on Facebook, find them. It's F Y N D T H E M. And, um, you know, check that out. You'll find some great things there. So, Greg, just in business in general and in life, anything else that you want to tell our audience today as far as any uh, good nuggets that you feel could uh, help them out? Yeah, I think one of the most kind of basic and important nugget is treat people well and you only have your name. It's stand by what you believe in. You know, Different markets in the U.S. You have different levels of work, work experience, and, and ethics. Um, you know, I've been in business a long time. You know, Devin and I, twenty-five years. I hate to say it, I'm not old. Um, <laughs> crazy. But we've only gotten here because you do what you say you're going to do. Enjoy it. Don't take it too seriously, and and really honor um, honor what you what you set out to do and and have passion. I hear a lot of people coming up now saying, I need to make money. I have to find an idea to make money. I'm, that's not how it works. You don't set out to make a million dollars. You set out to be passionate and do something good. And then right. the money comes later. Um, another thing for, you know, that I've been trying to push too for business owners in this tough time is pay your vendors. Um, you know, a lot of business owners out there are really struggling to, to get by, but they stop paying vendors and in our industries, that's all we have is our partners and our teams. You know, your clients are, have great, great relationships, obviously, but you know, when you don't pay your vendors, or you don't treat the people around you well, it just, everything's comes crashing down. It's the whole ecosystem falls apart. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And that, that goes for your staff as well. And trying to make sure you're taking care of them too. Exactly. Um, you know, in terms of marketing right now, um, as we talked about a couple of minutes ago, you just got to be creative. You can't just sit back and wait for this thing to end. What we're going to see at, coming out of COVID is tons of new products, 
tons of new uh, ways to market, um, new new retail locations. So you can either get involved in that or just watch it happen. And that's what we're trying to do, and, and you as well, is be a part of that and then ride that wave when it comes back up. Don't sit behind, you know, sit at home and, and freak out about what's going on. Engage, take it in. And, yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's uh, I mean, that's an awesome nugget and hearing it from someone that has great success, works with some of the biggest brands in the country, um, seeing some of them, it's not always, uh, I mean, even the most successful businesses can suffer. So having a plan, knowing how to shift gears, how to evolve uh, is so important and keeping positive, having fun, enjoying the, your life that you have and uh, keeping at it is, is just something that we strongly recommend to everyone out there. So Greg, it's an Awesome pleasure to have you on our Monday Marketing Nugget. And uh, we appreciate everyone for staying staying involved and uh, watching what we've got going on here. We're going to bring you a lot more uh, in the near future. So make sure you tune in next Monday for another Monday Marketing. Greg, it's been a pleasure. Good luck to you, buddy. And uh, we'll talk to you again Thank real you. soon. All right. Thanks say hello to the family for me. All right. Good. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. We'll see you next week, everyone. Bye-bye.